welcome to my channel. My name is Morgan and I am a mom to eight kids. Today, I'm gonna show you a huge once a month grocery haul from several different grocery stores. And I'm even gonna show you some clothing and books that we got, but we'll put all that at the end. In the beginning, you'll see groceries from Sam's Club, Walmart, and Aldi. My monthly grocery haul is around $1,200. Spoiler alert, we're gonna go over this month probably. We moved about two months ago, and before that, we pretty much depleted all the food in the house. We didn't have anything left over to move and I'm slowly just building things back up. I don't know how much I spent, but I'll put it at the end of the video. So stick around so that you can see how much we spend. So if you're normally shopping at Sam's, look at your veggies because the broccoli, the berries, um, things like that, they're cheaper at Walmart and Aldi. So if you're going to those stores anyway, get your broccoli and any other frozen veggies that you're getting at Walmart or Aldi because it's not cheaper at Sam's. So I try really hard to compare prices, but there are some things that you can get swayed by at Sam's because you're there and it looks good. But if you're already gonna go to Walmart anyway, then don't be swayed, especially by their frozen fruit and veggies. This mixed fruit is a really good price at Sam's, but not the berries, not the blueberries, not the strawberries, not the mixed berries. And also another tip is at Walmart, always buy your berries in the one pound. I know it sounds crazy, but at my Walmart, for one pound of berries is $1.98 but for a four pound bag is $9.99. So it's more expensive to buy it in the big bag. So that's a tip to keep in mind. Also the olive oil is much, much cheaper at Sam's Club. The butter is cheaper, although I'm gonna have to look it up now because it did go up to $11.46. So that means it might've been cheaper at Walmart. I'm so used to it being cheaper at Sam's. I picked it up without even thinking about it when I saw the price go up. So hopefully it won't be too bad. So if it's 11.46 and you divide that by four, 12 would be four. So it'd still be three. So it is still a little bit cheaper, 50 cents cheaper than Walmart for four packs. So not much cheaper if you only need to buy one or two packs, but a little cheaper. Um, because it's $2.99 a piece at Walmart, so I'll make it 12. Yeah, a little bit, but not much. It used to be a lot more. This is a quick overview of everything. Okay, on this table, we got a big thing of toilet paper, oh. sweet onions, yellow onions, egg whites, five pounds of these chicken breasts. This was the best deal I could find for an easy meal. My goal for this was to find something super easy in case life took a turn one day and I did not plan for this in the menu plan, but I can guarantee that it will probably get eaten. I got nine four packs of butter. That probably seems extreme, but we cook everything from scratch here, biscuits, cookies, pancakes, bread, and so when you add all that up, it equals a lot of butter and we will not use all this in one month, but butter freezes great. And I literally used my last stick this morning. So I did not want to do that again. If I could help it, I wanted to have some extra. Two things of olive oil. This is what I have left. So we were getting really, really low on everything. I got an extra one. Unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I eat Trim Healthy Mama and so does my husband and so do the children for almost all of their meals, but they do drink regular milk and I, drink almond milk and I love almond milk on my granola. This probably will only last like a week and a half because I just love it so much. I will be home making bagels for Sunday mornings, but I wanted to get an extra pack in case something came up and I didn't have one for one Sunday this month. So these are gonna go straight in the freezer to be pulled out in case of an emergency. Mushrooms for some Salisbury steak. We're having pizza four times this month. So we got salami and pepperoni for that. It was actually cheaper to get this pepperoni in this container than like the little pepperonis that come in the red pack. So that was surprising. Two things of pepper, turkey breast. There's no sugar in this. And this is so yummy. So yummy. Tomatoes. That's pretty cool. They were grown in Georgia. I live in middle Georgia. Where are you guys from? Let me know down in the comments below where you live and you're watching this haul. I think it's so interesting to watch grocery hauls from people in different parts of the world. Five pounds of mozzarella, pizza, pizza. Five pounds of this smoked sausage. I normally do not get this, but oh my goodness, I don't know if I was hungry or what, but it just looked so good. And my husband can cook this on his grill. And so that looks super tempting for him to have something to cook this month because almost I do like 99, 98% of the cooking here and this was something he could do if I needed him to cook one day. Feta. I like this feta because the ingredients were a little bit cleaner. We were completely out of almost all of our nuts except pecans. We did have like half a bag left but I still wanted to grab another one because those are our favorite. We got pecans, walnuts, almonds, and cashews. Nuts are so expensive. Ugh. So keep in mind when I tell you the total of all this in a little bit that a lot of these items were pretty expensive. A two pack of green olives. My baby already ate some because she loves 
olives. Two things of coffee, baking powder, we are completely out. Two of these six packs of black olives, y'all. They are so good. My mother-in-law had this brand at her house from Sam's and I usually get the Walmart brand olives but these are far superior in taste and texture. So they are a little bit more expensive, not much, but if you want like the yummy, yummy olive, this is it. Four things of creamy peanut butter. We were almost completely out. We had like maybe a half a cup of peanut butter left. So I think we'll probably only go through like three of these this month. So we'll probably have one left. I really wanna build up a stockpile of groceries, but this is not the month to do it. A six pack of peppers. We are having stuffed peppers this month, but these aren't for that. I have some frozen in the freezer. I'll be using for the stuffed peppers. These are just for fresh eating. Trash bags, no explanation needed. Frank's hot sauce. The ingredients of this are pretty good. Just cayenne, pepper, vinegar, water, salt, and garlic powder. No artificial color. Did you guys know some hot sauce has red food coloring in it? What? I know. Watch out for it. My husband got two pair of pants, one pair of Levi's, and one pair of Eddie Bauer's. Y'all, look at this price. Normally $70. He got these for like 20 bucks, less than 20 bucks. So... That was pretty amazing. These were less than 20 bucks too. I don't know what the regular price of these are. I don't think it actually says, does it? Nope. So anyway, I know he had to get a pair of work pants kind of on the fly the other day at Kohl's and they were like 60, $66 or something crazy. And then we found these today. So I really hope they fit. They look kind of cool. They have this elastic at the back, but the front is flat. If you're looking for some khaki pants, these are really inexpensive at Sam's if you have one near you. 15 pounds of russet potatoes, two packs of this romaine lettuce. When we have salads, our family will eat like three or four of these in one go. And we're having tacos, and so this will be gone. All of this will be gone pretty quick. Parmesan cheese is my personal favorite. I eat it on everything. Four packs of cream cheese, one pack of these extreme wellness spinach and herb tortillas. I think this is a two pack, yeah, twin pack. These are pretty low carb, four grams of carb per tortilla. So not bad, not bad. And they taste really good on top of that. Three of these 40 ounce things of Greek yogurt, three things of mouthwash, a pack of hot dogs. These were a pretty good price, I thought, because I was in Publix the other day and I got a tiny little eight pack and it was over $3. So for 24 count was six something or $7. Chicken thighs, two packs of these. They were 98 cent a pound. I was pretty excited about that. I looked for the heaviest ones because they were only letting you get two packs of chicken. So I got both of the chicken thighs. One was seven pounds and one was six and a half pounds. 10 pounds of this 9010 ground beef. It was $37.61. <gasps> And that hurt my feelings because that is a lot. Oh man, that's a lot. This bag of grapefruit. We got some red dragon grapes, two bundles of bananas, some apples, some mixed fruit. These green beans, these extra fine green beans are cheaper at Sam's. Most of their veggies are not cheaper at Sam's or cheaper at Walmart. But I was really surprised. These extra fine ones at Walmart are $1.37 a bag. At Sam's getting them like this, it was definitely cheaper. So check that out, compare your prices. Also the rice cauliflower was cheaper at Sam's. So we just got home from Walmart. It's 8.38 at night. Six pounds of these elbow pasta. Two pounds of these whole wheat. The kids really like white pasta, but I wish that they would like whole wheat pasta more. So what I do is I mix it. I mix the whole wheat and the elbow together and voila. They get a little bit of whole wheat, a little bit of what they like. The eight pound bag of sugar, five avocados, two bags of egg noodles for beef stroganoff, five bags of tortilla chips, some of these bite sized ones and some of the restaurant style one. 12 cans of Rotel. I, I got so much birthday money. And look what my mom bought me. 12 green beans and 12 cans of corn. In here is a 10 pounds of ground beef. I already cooked it and I gotta bag it up for the freezer. Eight bags of frozen broccoli. Four bags is one meal for us. Six bags of this chopped spinach. I put this in the Instant Pot with the dry beans when I cook them and it shrivels down to hardly anything and it's really a good way to sneak in spinach. Frozen veggies. Four pounds of strawberries. We got a big bag of blueberries dark sweet cherries and the berry medley. They did not have any more berry medley than that or I would have got it. So I just went ahead and got what they had because I didn't want to miss out on smoothies. Two boxes of vanilla sandwiches because we're making homemade ice cream cake. Have you guys ever made homemade ice cream cake? Let me know in the description below. I got the unbleached all-purpose flour for to feed my sourdough starter. It's 
right there, bubbling up, ready for me to make bread tomorrow. Three jars of this Welch's Natural. This was actually cheaper than Great Value brand. If you guys watch my grocery hauls, you know I'm all about store brand. I did decide to pay like one cent more, more per ounce to get the Naturals because this does not have high fructose corn syrup. Definitely has a lot of sugar. I got this last time and the kids really liked it. So we got grape and strawberry. The grape was a little bit cheaper, but the strawberries are favorite. So I thought we could switch it up. This simply fruit for me because I don't eat any sugar. So this is sweetened with just fruit juice. We eat a lot of homemade sourdough bread around here. So if you're wondering why on earth we have so much jelly, it's because we eat a lot of jelly. I got cocoa powder and dry milk because we're gonna be making our own homemade hot cocoa mix. I really like having hot cocoa mix for the kids, but I was so devastated when I looked at the ingredients this month right before I was getting ready to get some. It is full of so many things that I do not want them to have. So I thought, let me just look up and see what I can make it with real quick. And it's so easy. So I got the ingredients for it, voila. I got this better than bouillon. I started out last month with a lot of whole chicken bones and stuff in the freezer to make broth. I do have a couple of quarts of broth frozen, but I thought if I needed some extra chicken broth this month, then I wouldn't have any bones. So I went ahead and got this because the whole chickens were pretty expensive. I do have some chicken thighs with bones in there that I will use to make some broth, but I wasn't sure exactly how much that would make. So we got this. Two cans of diced green chilies, Tylenol and Motrin. I got the dye free, which was more expensive, unfortunately. It seems like it would be cheaper if they're leaving out an entire ingredient. So anyway, we got these because we were out and I just didn't want to be out of these in case I needed them. Five pizza sauces, the 23.9 ounce. I had several of these left from last month. Liquid aminos, I was almost out. Two things of pork chops. This is what Marvin wants for his birthday dinner. Some hickory smoked bacon, three things of sausage. They were out of half and half. So I got this nut pod toasted marshmallow. I've had this before. I like it. Okay. But I also got this heavy whipping cream and I thought I could maybe make my own half and half. We'll see how that works. But either way, I have something to put my coffee. I'm happy about it. I also have almond milk that I can use. 18 more eggs. I'm doing some freezer cooking coming up. So stay tuned for that. But I needed, I needed a few more eggs. Some great modern beans and some black beans, some garbanzo beans make homemade hummus. I couldn't find the sesame paste or the tahini that I needed. Hopefully I can make it without it, but if not, maybe I could use peanut butter instead. I don't know. Have you guys ever made hummus with peanut butter? Or maybe I'll get back to the store to try to find some, or maybe I'll look on Amazon. Anyway, let me know if you guys have ever made hummus without tahini. 15 pounds of brown rice. Two two pound bags of popcorn. I love this for the kids. It's such an affordable snack. Look, certified non-GMO. This is cool. This is seven little Valentine's gifts for the kids. They're here. So one of them saw them, but they're just something little, very little gift. So I like to give them that when they wake up that day. Not anything big, seriously, tiniest gift ever, but it's cool. Three heads of kale. I really like to get frozen kale for the soup that I'm making, but I couldn't find any. It trims up a Toscana soup. I make it all the time. It's amazing. Marvin requested these cheese sticks. I normally don't get these because they're $9 for 36 of them. And that is three times the price per ounce of like the regular cheese that I get. These are super handy snacks, but they are gone in a blink. I don't get them much. I did get them. I'll let you know if I regret it later. Italian style cheese. This is a cheese I, I eat Trim Healthy Mama and I love this cheese because it's only six grams of fat per one third cup which is amazing. And it's super tasty, like so tasty. Five avocados, two things of zesty Italian, four. And there goes the beginning of the cheese stick disappearance. Four things of ranch, three things of picante sauce. I normally get 12 of these diced tomatoes, but instead this, it was a lot cheaper to get these big cans. I don't know if they didn't have this last time or what, but either way, it was 98 cents to get this 28 ounce, but for one 14 ounce can was 72 cents. So that's a huge amount cheaper to get the bigger can. So if you need more, feel free to get the bigger one to save yourself a few cents. I got the kids some shampoo, conditioner, body wash mix, some hand soap refills for the kitchen, some dish soap. Not sure how great this great value is, but it looks natural. It kind of looks like the seventh generation. It says it's a safer choice, certified bio-based product, not tested on animals. So that's good. We don't want to hurt our little bunnies. Anyway, 
We'll see. I think it's a little bit of a better choice. I really like how bubbly it is. I do recommend it. Honey vanilla chamomile is for Phoenix. And Marvin requested this for his birthday breakfast. Surprise, surprise. I went to Aldi because there were a few things I forgot, like oatmeal. And I needed a good amount of that. So I ran in there to pick up the few things that I left behind. And one of my girlfriends showed me a picture yesterday of their shelves like all their meat was completely gone and i was like oh no but i will say i went back today and it was completely restocked so same aldi that's encouraging even though they're running out of everything my guess is it was the first yesterday and maybe everybody was going grocery shopping on the first so i also took coral and phoenix my 13 year old 15 year old to the mall and i picked them up a few clothes that they needed we did go to goodwill too and we got a few things there but we couldn't find everything that we were looking for namely jeans that's what they really needed was pants but we did end up finding it and i'll show you what okay we got. we got two bags of chicken nuggets this is a cute little dolly i got for our, for my grandbaby elizabeth it's her christmas present i know i'm really really late but better late than never i got it from personalizationmail.com i think i love them i get stuff from them a lot i highly recommend them five things of strawberries because they were only a dollar 99 i was super excited about that the rest of them are there julia almost knocked out an entire pound of them are those good julie mm -hmm. they're super sweet five dark chocolate chips four chocolate chip minis some butterscotch and some white we do a lot of baking that's all i have to say about that two things of clementine over here i got three bags of crinkle fries eight things of oatmeal so eddie wanted fries and chicken nuggets on his birthday so that is what i got him so we went to goodwill bath and body works aeropostale and american eagle and I'll show you what we got. This is American Eagle. Coral's the only one that got something there. She got this blue sweater. It's really cute. And she also got some mom jeans. So there's that. That's the name of the cut. Yeah, they're called mom jeans. I think it's hilarious that that's what they're called, but it truly is what they're called. The girl working there was totally wearing mom jeans. At Aeropostale, Coral got this little blue skirt to wear with this blue sweater, a blue camisole, and a white camisole. These, everything there was half off, so I was pretty excited. These are really high up. So if you're looking for a little camisole that you need to wear underneath some v-neck, this is a really good option. And for my shorter daughters, like I can take these and tie them and it pulls it up even higher. I love this. I love these. I love these. They're super, super cute. The blue ones even like goes up and around. That's really cool. Phoenix got a pair of joggers. These were 50% off. All of them are really 50% off, which made one of these pants only 20 bucks. These were like $21. I don't remember which one of these jeans. One was 20 and one was 40, 50% off. We didn't want to get jeans with holes in them. So these were the only ones in the entire store that didn't have holes. These are slim straight and these are straight. It's a different cut in case you didn't know. My kids are set on clothes, at least for the winter. I had a gift card to Bath and Body Works. So I ended up going there and getting some shower gel for my daughters. I actually usually really shy away from things with scent, but my sweet little nine-year-old asked me yesterday. I always ask the kids before I go to the grocery store if they need anything. And she said, mom, can you get me some super smell good, amazing body wash? So I did. I picked out this confetti daydream. Coral picked out the sunshine mimosa. They're both going in the girls showers so it won't last forever and it'll be something fun that they'll love goodwill we had fun at goodwill I really wanted to find the kids pants there but we couldn't so we got coral this church dress um she's 5'11 and has a really hard time finding stuff this dress fit her like it was made for her we were so excited about it this is just a button down shirt that was right up her style she loved it I got this for Juliet. It's a 4T. It's super cute. I love leopard print. And then this like Calvin Klein pantsuit jumper romper thing for Coral. She loved it. We got that blue little camisole. Is camisole the right word? For her to wear under this because it's more low cut than she likes. She actually doesn't like low cut at all. She would have been really happy if this was a round neck but it wasn't. So I'm pretty excited that she found something that she loves. Because she is so tall, it's really hard for her to find clothes that she likes that fit her well. And I remember that because when I was growing up in high school in the 90s, I was 5'9", and I could never find pants that were long enough because the only place we ever shopped was Walmart. They didn't have long back then. They just had regular, and I wasn't regular. I was long. My legs are long. I have Eddie's birthday coming up on the 6th, and he has requested yogurt parfaits. And for dinner, he wants chicken nuggets and french fries, which I completely forgot. For lunch, he wants cheese quesadillas. Marvin, for breakfast, wants the frosted mini wheats. And for lunch, he wants pork chops. Maybe it's pizza that he wanted for lunch. That is a special meal that we're getting and they're each gonna have an ice cream cake on their birthday. One with gummy bears on top and one with sprinkles. We have all that coming up this month and Valentine's Day. If you're still here, let me show you what my menu plan is for the month. 
All right, so February, we have some ideas for breakfast up here that we will have ingredients for. We're gonna food prep up a few biscuits and breakfast sandwiches, granola, maybe some baked oatmeal, and definitely some breakfast cookies. We're gonna be making sourdough bagels this month. We're gonna have tacos every Tuesday. That makes it super easy. We're gonna have pizza every Friday, every Monday. And we're gonna have some kind of black bean meal, like a soup or a bowl. My kids love black beans. It's one of their favorite meals. I know that sounds crazy, but it is. Then on Wednesdays, we're also going to have meatless meals, taco soup with lots of beans, Greek night, hummus will be the protein, chili, lots of beans, taco soup, lots of beans. And that's it for that. We're having tilapia, stuffed peppers, pork chops, Marvin's birthday, beef stroganoff, chicken pot pie, meat, veggies, and spaghetti squash. Maybe that's the night we'll have those yummy sausages that Derek cooked. So we have Alfredo, chicken enchilada casserole, and then anywhere I can fit in spaghetti squash for an extra veggie with me, I still have several of those. And also like I'm gonna squeeze in butternut squash wherever I can, maybe like in the taco soup I could sneak some in. Maybe here I could sneak some in. Definitely in the bowls I can sneak in some um, butternut squash. So anyway, that is officially everything I got today and yesterday. And I hope to not go back to the grocery store until the 14th or 15th or so. It'll actually probably be on the 13th because I'm having a Valentine's Day party with my sisters. And so I'll probably have to pick up a few things for that. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what a family of nine eats in a month. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. I didn't mean to do that, but novel book thingy. What does he say? I wrote it down. So this is everything we got at Walmart. Oh, no, it's not. Roast potatoes. That's the wrong thing. I wrote down the wrong thing.